Take a close look at this map. It is District 19, the Tennessee House. Harry Brooks has represented this area for 16 years now. About 60,000 people live in this area of Knox County, and they're going to get a new representative. The Republican candidates vying in the primary, that is August 2nd, join us this morning. I'm going to go down the line here. Dave Wright is next to me, Donald Weiser in the middle, and Dallas Sively all with us this morning. Gentlemen, thank you. Good thank morning. You. Thank Thanks. you Good for having us. And let's go right down the line. And Dave Wright, let's start with you. Why are you running to be a member of the House? Uh, I think for me it would be a transition of like normal occurrence. I've been involved in Knox County service for few years on county commission. I think I've got the knowledge, skills, and abilities to go to Nashville and, and continue to get good work uh, for the folks out in the East County. Mr. Weiser. Yes, sir. The reason that I am running is because I'm passionate about several issues to bring them to the forefront. Then you've got to have a stage to perform it on. Uh, one is the uh, drug problem you've got to fight the drug problem through supply and demand we're doing it all wrong uh, the other one is the veterans hospital i'm pushing for that and then the third one is in our district up there the most beautiful district that we have in all the knox county we got the poorest road system in uh you want to change in, that at the state level i well you know, the state has roads up through there, too, same as the county. All right, well, we'll get more specific in a moment. Mr. Sibley, your reasons for <clears throat> running. Well, I, uh, I've been in Knox County since the 1980s, back during the World's Fair. And um, back when uh, I graduated from high school, um, I went to uh, Roan State Community College and um, worked on uh, getting a degree in criminal justice. Ended up working for the Sheriff's Department here in Knox County. And um, when I got there, I saw a lot of things that, uh, um, I saw a lot of buddy systems in, in, in the um, network of Knox County that went on for a long, long time. The good old boy system? The good old boy system. And um, I don't know, when I heard about um, Harry Brooks, uh, who was retiring his seat, um, during the uh, presidential election, I got pretty passionate with a group called the Americans for Prosperity and got behind uh, a lot of the rallies there with the presidential election. And I don't know, I caught the wave or I'm not really sure, but I had a sense of duty that I wanted to do something good for the community I love, which is Coryton. And um, that was my only motivation was to get in here, be a blue collar conservative, because that's what I'm running as, and to represent um, the district. Um, with a new face. And what separates you from your fellow candidates? Well, one of the things, I've never ever been in politics. I've never held a position in politics other than working for the Sheriff's Department. Um, that wasn't really political, it was, um, it was more work oriented. Um, I would say the biggest thing that separates me f from them is I don't, I want to get in, do my service because I believe, I studied the Constitution in school very closely and I believe that our system is set up so that um, so that we can move the idea instead of the person. Mr. Weiser, your your ideas or your background that separates you from your fellow candidates? Well, I'm probably the most educated here. Uh, I've got 40 years past a master's, two years of law school, getting ready to go back to UT to work on my PhD at 71 years old. I, uh, my life experiences, I've been a uh, policeman uh, uh, for the city of Knoxville, honorably uh, draw that pension uh, each month. I'm a disabled veteran. I'm passionate about helping disabled veterans. Uh, I've been doing drug and alcohol type programs. I'm passionate about having treatment for these people instead of warehousing them in a jail for two years. It's cheaper to have a good treatment program. You've got 200 women probably out here at Maloney Road that through drugs, their crimes is being committed. Uh, they're just sitting out there. They, okay. He's well, talking about the Constitution, you know, you're innocent until proven guilty, so these people are sitting out there innocent. Well, let, uh, we can get to more on, on criminal justice, but I want to hear Mr. Wright's qualifications that separate 
you from your fellow candidates? Uh, I think that I have the life experiences that uh, allow me to say that every time I've been involved in something, I've stepped up to the next level, whether it be a private coming out of the military, honorably discharged as a lieutenant, or a communications technician at AT&T, uh, becoming management at AT&T, or as in this instance, I believe I've proven myself on Knox County Commission. I s remarked earlier that I'm a little upset Susan isn't here because I don't get to say to her, eyeball to eyeball, Gibbs Middle School. <laughs> I th you I got think, that done. I, I think that uh, I'm, I am not a square peg in a round hole kind of guy. You gotta win friends and influence people, and I think I have that track record. All right, we're gonna be back with more issues. John North will lead us off momentarily right after this.